Okay, number six. The site topography requires that the new post office building that you are designing and, uh, and its parking lot uh, will need to be at different elevations. There is a three foot elevation difference. For obvious reasons, you have decided that you want the cost to be as low as possible and hope to not need extensive railings. What is the best minimum distance for the walkway slash ramp uh, from the parking area to the main entryway of the building? So there's a couple of possible logical answers here. The first thing everybody knows, we're talking about an accessible ramp. What's the uh, ramp slope? Well, it's gonna be one to 12. Uh, so if I have 36 inches, which is three feet, if I have 36 inches vertical, that means a, a direct accessible slope would be 36 feet long. That is not the right answer. Why is that not the right answer? Well, there's two possible reasons why that's not the right answer. One is, if I have an accessible ramp, every 30 inches vertical, so two and a half feet, if you are expecting somebody to go up uh, vertical height, uh, they need to have rest points. So every 30 inches vertical, I would need to add a five foot landing. So the bare minimum, it could be if we we're doing uh, an accessible, uh, an accessible direct and accessible ramp would be 41 feet because you would have to add that ramp in no matter what. Even that's not really the right answer though. Uh, why not? Because the other key thing it said was we want to keep the cost as low as possible and not need extensive railings. If we're going to do an, an accessible ramp, it's going to have curbs, it's going to have railings, it's going to have railing extensions, it's going to have all the things that any ramp would have to have. That's going to be very expensive and we've specifically said we don't want that. So what would be the minimum that we could do and not have that? So the question is, what defines an accessible ramp? Well, the steepest accessible ramp, as we just said, was a 1 to 12. If we have a 1 to 20, that is the lowest slope that's still considered an accessible ramp. So if we chose the 20 for that three foot elevation difference, uh, instead of, um, uh, instead of having uh, 36 times 1, uh, uh, time, times 12, which is the, the issue with it, then when you convert it back to feet, ends up being 36 feet. Now we're saying instead of it being 12 inches for every 1 inch vertical, we're saying it's 20 inches for 1 inch vertical. So if you uh, uh, do that answer, uh, sorry, I don't have it in front of me. Hang on just a second. That's 60 feet. So 60 feet gives me a slope that is no longer considered a ramp. It's just slope. So I don't have any requirements for railings. Just like a sidewalk that has a little bit of slope to it, just like anything like that. So the fact that I am trying to make this as uh, cheap and reasonable as possible, interestingly, I make it longer in order to make it cheaper. Now, that one probably threw a lot of people. Uh, so my guess is if you got somebody who figured out the 41 feet, that's pretty great. Um, uh, I think 36 doesn't quite do it. I think you got to know that there's a little bit more going on. Uh, but the best answer would be 60 feet. Now, technically, it would be 60 feet and one inch or something because it has to be slightly lower slope than one to 20. Um, but this is an important concept to understand and that's why I wanted to do a question about it. Uh, I don't think a question will come through quite like this, but this is the kind of thing you need to sort of recognize that says, all right, there are rules and it's easy to slip into the, like everybody knows that it's one to 12, right? We all know that. 
but it isn't always 1 to 12. There are times when I do a 1 to 8. There's times when I do a, a 1 to 24. The 1 to 8, that's not an accessible ramp. It's still a ramp. It's not an accessible ramp. When we say the 1 to 12, we're really talking about 1 to 12 to 1 to 20. That's a very particular set of uh, ramps, set of uh, dimensions that have a whole bunch of extra rules to them. Everything beyond that has their own set of issues, right? In this case, we had a couple of different uh, things to deal with, issues, topics to deal with, and uh, one of them was saying, let's not use railings. Now, on the actual exam, it would be more clear, I think, than the way that I so wrote it. So let me it. ask, uh, so the 1 to 20, you're saying that uh, with at that slope, you don't need railings? You don't need railings. Okay. Cool. I did not actually know that. <laughs> I think it got a lot of people off too. I think, as you're saying, this is a good example of um, maybe maybe don't sweat this question as like whether you got it right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. this is really meant to bring up the issues. It's more of like an exercise in really looking closely at all of the stuff that's in the question and being really, um, because a lot of times they, they, they're going to be really specific um, with some of the, they'll throw in one word and that one word will change the whole meeting. I mean, in this case, Mike threw in that phrase that he underlined about extensive railings and that kind of changed the whole meeting. Um, so think about it maybe as an exercise um, and uh, uh, in, in searching for, you know, what are, the, what are those words or those phrases that are kind of... Kind of um, what's actually going on. I, one thing I will say is I would actually, if I was rewriting this, I would get rid of the word hope because that, that it doesn't, that's not strong enough. Um, mm -hmm. So that's, that's on me. Um, uh, but if you just take that word out, uh, not need extensive railings is a pretty clear, like the one thing you think about with an accessible ramp is all the railings. Mm -hmm. Like it's thousands of dollars in railings. It's much, much easier to go a few more feet of, of ramp without any of that uh, than it is to go shorter distance with all the extra cost and complication of those things. And you, you didn't have railings when you're at 1 to 20. Was that what you were thinking there? Right. Okay, got it. Cool.